Hello beef people, I hope you're all doing well. It's been a while since I made one of these videos. So here are a few brands that I want to put you onto. Brands that have been giving me a lot of inspiration and brands that I do wanna just cop from in the near future. So hopefully I'm able to put you onto some new brands and if you have heard of some of the brands that I'm gonna mention in this video, then comment in the comment section below on what your thoughts are on them and their collection so far. But let's jump into it. Let me just put my glasses on. Okay, much better. Let's do this. All right, so first brand we have is Uniform Bridge, which was started in South Korea back in 2015. Absolutely love this brand, Uniform Bridge. So in terms of what they have to offer, it's just modern takes on vintage outdoors and military clothing. So I just love this collegiate sort of vibe from this yellow arch logo t-shirt. Love that aspect. And there's also another sweatshirt that I do want to cop from them, but they've got so many different pieces on here on end especially the aesthetic is very stripped back as with a lot of the brands in this video so i'm just trying to find this sweatshirt so it's kind of similar to this blue one that we have here but let me see if i can actually pick out a sweatshirt that i am actually going to cop so this is the sweatshirt that i'm actually looking to cop with this new york one and these guys are offering high quality pieces at affordable prices. Obviously 115 for a sweatshirt isn't too, too expensive. If you go to places like Coz, Arkit, you're probably finding prices in a similar range. The next brand we have is a brand called Holzwheeler, which was founded by the Holzwheeler siblings. So it's a family run Norwegian business, which is amazing. The thing that I love about this one is that they focus on creating timeless pieces the main inspiration comes from art and architecture. They create a lot of genderless silhouettes and the architectural elements within this is visible. Like as you look through the, the collection, you can see that they have the clean lines and it's also really nice and colorful. That's the nature aspect of the brand, which is where they draw their main inspirations from. They say comes from art, architecture, nature and contemporary culture. And I think that you can see those elements within this collection. Obviously the color aspect goes hand in hand with nature and then everything else within the collection is just very clean. Like look at this lovely white shirt, this bomber jacket as well. This lovely clean lines in that. So I can see the architectural elements from there. Big fan of this brand for its modern silhouettes, shapes and cut. So if you're looking for something that you can wear on an everyday basis, that's colorful that's not necessarily very minimalistic, then Holzwheel is a very great place for you to come to, especially since that they're going with the more contemporary looks in terms of the fashion. You've got the oversized fits and cuts and shapes and silhouettes are great for those fashion forward looks that you're probably looking to create. The next brand we have is a brand called Blue Burnham, which was founded in 2018. And these guys make high quality jewelry pieces so i've just come across blue burn and probably just came across them in the last month or so but i'm a huge huge fan and i do want to actually save up and buy one of the rings that i particularly like is this one with the multicolored sort of diamonds encrusted in them and although it is rather expensive that being said i do feel like this is an investment piece as once you find a piece of jewelry that you really love i don't see why you need to just spend more money buying other pieces or looking at other pieces just to have a few in rotation. So just save up, buy a high quality ring, and then just leave it at that and just keep wearing it. So the price point is reflected by the materials that they've used and the lengths that they go to ensure that they are minimizing their environmental impact as much as possible. It is a small business, but one that I hope to support in the future as I love the rings especially. And you can see, like, look at the way they're designed and the quality of them. This one is 2K, but you also have to take into consideration how much it must cost them to produce these rings. Another one that I really love is this Rose Garden Signet Ring, which is blue and clear, and it's made of sterling silver. I mean, it just looks absolutely unreal. I'm a big fan of Blue Burnham. I know that there are other brands out there in terms of rings like Tom Wood, which are high quality pieces, but I think Blue Burnham just has something different to offer. 
If you've seen any of my TikToks or Instagram reels lately, then you'll know that I've picked up an item from this brand recently. And this is Polar Skate, which was founded in 2011. So I think the actual group of skateboarders, Polar, were actually founded back in like 1996 in Malmo in Sweden, but then they released their clothing line in 2011. Of course, skateboarding culture is at the heart of this brand. And you can see that through the tees and the graphics that they have, sort of the oversized silhouettes as well and I just really like the brand because it's quite simple and I do like graphic tees especially for the summertime just to switch things up and make them a little bit different a funny thing about this brand is that the actual founder and owner of the company actually draws the graphics so that's really interesting and that's I think that's pretty cool to be honest this is the t-shirt that I have this basketball one with a small graphic on the front and then a graphic on the back so to know that that was designed and drawn by the founder I think that's pretty sick in my opinion. Obviously this one is a children's one, eight to nine years, but shop around and you'll find this exact t-shirt because I know that they're stocked in a number of shops. Okay, next we have a brand called Aaron Studios. And although it is a women's wear brand, the reason that I wanted to put them in this list is because they provide a great source of inspiration for me personally. And I feel like they could provide a great source of inspiration for you guys as well. And what's to say that guys can't cop from women's stores? As long as they look unisex and you can pull them off, then I would say go ahead. So let's go through this and let me show you why I like the items from this brand. So Aaron Studios was founded in 2012. They practice waste reducing innovation and sustainable sourcing of all of their items. I love the minimal aesthetic with the pops of color, as you can see from the red. And then they've also got, I think some sort of lilac here. You've got the blue. Let me also go back one step. And then you've got this lovely lilac colors as well. I just think it's, it's incredible to be honest the way that these clothes are designed and put together. So you can see that they pride themselves on excellent craftsmanship and details like things like the buttons, which you can see from here and here are things that I really like about this brand. So Aaron Studio is probably not a place that you're gonna buy loads of clothes from, but in terms of inspiration and maybe buying the odd one or two items, I think this is just a great place. I know the price point is a little dear, but I think if you wanna cop, you wanna cop really. The next brand we have is called Aquila, which was founded in 2018. And a lot of people always ask me where I got my sunglasses from. And this is the brand, which I have actually linked in previous videos and I have talked about them previously, but here we can actually deep dive into Aquila. Their frames are made from acetate and they're durable. And even when you pick them up, you can tell that they're made of high quality and they're there to withstand the test of time. Like they're very heavyweight glasses but super super comfortable my favorites and the ones that i have a pair of are these aries sunglasses but they have so many different options out there for you guys i don't think the pair that i have are actually here oh no they actually are they're here these brown ones they've also recently opened a new flagship store in new york so if any of you guys are around in the new york area then i would definitely recommend checking them out and trying on some of their sunglasses Sunglasses are definitely something that you want to go in and try as you want to make sure that they suit your face. So I'd highly recommend doing that if you can get access to the store. A Day's March is a Swedish label that was started in 2014. This brand is not necessarily reinventing the wheel. It's very much capsule wardrobe vibes here. As you can see that they have minimal aesthetic and very simple, basic wardrobe essentials in their collection. What's really nice about this company is that they only sell their clothes in their stores, meaning you don't have to contend with markups. So you're really getting the best price for these clothes. Another thing is that they make their clothes in a family run factory in Portugal who produce their clothes sustainably. I think those things are just really nice touches and does just say a lot about the brand that they do want to keep it in house. And these guys are practicing DTC so that you guys get the best price. And as I said about the pieces before, they're not reinventing the wheel. They're very basic, very simple. But I do think that for anyone that is refining their wardrobe or just experimenting with different pieces or looking to just build a capsule wardrobe, then this is a great place to start. Big fan of a day's march and for wardrobe essentials, this is probably a good spot. This brand is by far my favorite out of all of the brands and it is Ro, this Amsterdam based brand 
Not sure when exactly it was founded, but this, the quality, the pieces are absolutely outrageous. And they're, I think they're 10, 10. In my opinion, it is very minimal, very stripped back, very clean. I mean, look at something like this, like this shirt is absolutely gorgeous. There are just so many great clean pieces in this collection. The approach Thoreau is very conscientious looking to make long lasting investment pieces that transcend seasons. So they don't actually follow the traditional fashion season. They make things in rows. They just release the collections when they feel that they're ready to be released. They have a lot of gender neutral pieces, as you can see from this blazer here, featured on both man and a woman. So that's great. And I much prefer places that are gender neutral. And although the price point for some of the items are a little high, I really do think that you're gonna get your money's worth when it comes to this brand. You can tell, just like, look at these pieces. They are. Last brand we have is Danish brand called Another Aspect, which were established in Copenhagen in 2019. They are very similar to A Day's March in the fact that they do offer minimal aesthetic and minimal clothing that transcend time, seasons, and will help you to build that capsule wardrobe. But I think one thing that differs from them is that they do make a little bit more fashion forward pieces and things that are a bit more interesting in my opinion, like the shirts, the fabrics that they're using, the cuts, the shapes, the silhouettes of them. Also, they just lean more into that Scandinavian vibe. So on here, you'll find Terry sweatshirts, button down shirts, recycled fibers, organic cotton and dead stock materials with cuts and silhouettes that are very minimal and easily pairable for any occasion. The pieces are also unisex as well, which is great. And they're designed to transcend seasons and the garments offer another aspect as it tributes to stylish, responsible, everyday living. Instagram have just been peppering me so much with ads about another aspect. I have to say, I really do like this brand. It is gonna be another one that I plan on copying from because I'm literally always shopping on there, always having a look. Price point is a little bit on the higher side, but I think for the fact that you're gonna get a high quality piece, the trade-off is pretty decent. Yes, beautiful people. So those are the brands that are on my radar at the moment. Those are the ones that are providing me with some inspiration, ones that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully I've put you onto some new brands and my hope is that you guys can put me onto some new brands as well. So let me know in the comment section below what brands you guys are feeling at the moment. Love to hear from you always on the lookout for new brands always on the lookout for new brands but other than that guys i'll see you in the next one peace